Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a privilege to come through to your home. My name is Tule Dada, pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders Family, based in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, Divine Compassion. Our memory verse for today is taken from Luke chapter 7, verse 13. The Bible says, When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said to her, Do not weep. May the Lord have compassion on you today in Jesus' name. Our text is from Luke chapter 7. I read from verse 12 through to verse 15. And when he came near the gates of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Today we reflect on the word of God again. And if we look at the case of the woman which we have just read in our text, it demonstrates the best that man can do to empathize with other human beings during their time of trial. Do you know that different people react to different occurrences depending on their capability to address the situation? For example, when Lazarus died, one of the disciples of Jesus said, Our friend Lazarus has died. Let us go and die with him. I guess that is the best way that the disciple could handle what had happened to their friend. Some wailed, some comforted, but Jesus called Lazarus from the dead when he got to where he was buried. Human beings can only do what lies in their power to do to support others. Why? Because they are not the creator. They are the created and, lim they are the created and limited in their power to either help themselves or others. Do you know that when situations turn so hopeless, then the capacity to handle the situation can only rest with God, who is the creator of heaven and the earth. And so, going back to our Bible text of today, we see the case of the woman of name, the woman who was already old and a widow, lost her only son. In such a situation, those who are mourning with her must be having difficult time finding the right words to use to console her. Just then and there, something dramatic happened. Jesus of Nazareth was entering the city. He watched them and had compassion on the woman and told the woman, do not weep. Have you been weeping, my brother? Have you been weeping, my sister? Do you think that all is lost and you can no longer achieve your purpose on earth? I speak to you today by the authority of the Most High God. You shall weep no more. The Lord will change your story today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your season of joy will come in Jesus' name. Your night of weeping has come to an end in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Jesus is entering into that ugly situation right now in his compassion and he's changing your story in the name of our Lord Jesus. The story of the woman changed when her lifeless son was brought back to life. Whatever is dead in your life, is receiving life again in the name of our Lord Jesus. That business is receiving life. That ministry is receiving life. That career that has stagnated for too long is receiving life in the mighty name of Jesus. That marriage is receiving life. Jesus is going to show you his compassion at this time and your story will change today. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Action point for today. I want you to pick an issue confronting you or your family. And I want you to ask the compassion of God to be made manifest in that situation. As you do so, you will experience the touch of the Most High God. And your story will never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for being part of today's telecast. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Until I come your way again, shalom.